We we're back here on Weather Command. Winter, it has returned in a big way, also in a bad way. We showed you this yesterday, a 30-car pileup on Interstate 80 in northern Indiana. Several people were hurt, but thankfully no one uh, perished. Indiana State Police confirming that weather was a factor in these crashes, saying that the roads were slick. Visibility, of course, when the snow falls, always gets reduced, and the state patrol saying that happened as well. Yeah, incredibly scary stuff, right? And that same threat could impact portions of the Great Lakes through the weekend. So to help you prepare, we have a guest in studio, Jace Bernhardt, a professor with Hofstra University. Thank you, Jace, for joining us. You also brought a pretty fun tool. I'm wearing it already. It's already on Stephen's head. And we have Stephen <laughs> strategically placed in this spot, by the way. That's why Jace is sandwiched between us, um, because we're going to talk about a tool that you help create, virtual reality. To help people, I guess, put themselves in that situation of driving through a snow squall. That's exactly it. So yeah. several years ago now, I put on a VR headset like this for the first time. And I mm -hmm. thought, wow, this would be an amazing way to show the public the very dangerous weather hazards and mm -hmm. teach them what to do. And yeah. the hazards, I mean, they're all encompassing, right? I mean, you had snow squalls, which we're about to show, mm -hmm. but there have been other ones as well, right? Yes, we developed uh, what it looks like to be caught in a hurricane and the storm mm -hmm. surge comes up and like, rises up to your chest. Very mm -hmm. scary. Also, rip currents, which are surprisingly very dangerous yeah. for yeah. beachgoers. It's um, it, to create the conditions. I mean, we have some, and you can see behind us, you know, when you get heavy snow, visibility gets cut down. So the idea, right, is if you're not familiar, you put yourself in that scenario and you feel yeah is like this you're your trigger is you put yeah. yourself is like steven put the steven. glasses on um and then how do you yeah is steven so steven's going to actually drive through a simulation yeah, yeah, of a yeah. snow squall and these are my these are my remotes right uh right jace yep. and i that's hit the i think i hit the a button correctly a button start yep and we're okay. look, that's what steven sees too all right. What I know is that I have to grab the wheel. Yep, there you go. So I hit the wheel and then I put the pedal to the metal, baby. Indeed. So what what people can't hear is I can hear this engine. This is wild because it's, you guys developed this thing and it's just, uh, you're driving along on the road. Okay, and I don't know if people can hear it. I, I just got it. one of those. Can you hear it? Can you describe what it is, Jace? This emergency alert? Yeah, so in the last uh, several years now, the National Weather Service has the ability to issue snow squall warnings, uh, which will send a wee alert to phone if it is classified oh, okay. as a very severe snow squall case. So in this case, we're going to see um, the uh, rapidly escalating heavy snow. Oh, my gosh. Blotting out the visibility. The roads get very slick. Mm -hmm. There could be a flash freeze. The roads uh, get iced over. And as a result, it's very, very treacherous to be on the roads. Ideally, we want people to get off the roads uh, before the snow squall hits, especially get off a highway, because there's no safe place on a highway when the snow squall hits. <clears throat> but Stephen here will show us what happens. When well, there is, the an ex there is an exit, but I can't see the... That's what's so crazy about these snow squalls, because... When, well, well, uh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> you didn't just see that. No, I didn't. <laughs> Actually, the first time you did it, you did follow the white line and you stayed straight. But, you know, it's, it's very specific requirements for a snow squall warning. That's... You have to get that visibility <sighs> under a mile and it can get slippery really quickly. How are you able, Jace, to be able to match those conditions in virtual reality? So basically, we actually showed what could happen. So mm -hmm. as the road got slick and the conditions started getting treacherous and the visibility got lower, mm -hmm. Stephen did spin out and he eventually got impacted by a car rear-ending him. As you could see, it says he was caught in a pileup. And then we give some information on what to do to avoid being caught in a pileup. Mm -hmm. And again, the idea is you want to just Wild. avoid the road uh, before the snow squall hits because it's just so dangerous once you get on the roads with the snow squall. Have people, I mean, have you tried on one of these things before? Uh, yes, but not in this particular. They're immersive. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you kind of are surrounded by this, this environment. Has, has it been effective? Have people used it? And, and what yeah. have they been saying about it? That's the idea. You want to have the sights and the sounds of the weather yeah. hazard. Yeah. We've done yeah. public uh, testing, uh, surveying to improve it. And there's been such great feedback on how a wonderful a teaching tool it is. It is tough. I mean, because the messaging so often is, especially with an unprecedented event, right? When you get into hurricanes, when you get into any of these systems where people have never been in it themselves, it's hard to imagine how bad it can be. But you've worked with the National Weather Service, correct? And in terms of making sure that these are as accurate and close to reality as possible. I just want to give mm -hmm. a quick shout out. We have a talented VR developer, Frank mm -hmm. Martin, who uh, yeah. developed the simulation. We work at the National Weather Service State College Office, especially. Mm -hmm. They've been leading the charge on snow squall communication efforts for years. Mm -hmm. And they help guide the simulation and make sure that's accurate mm -hmm. and realistic. And uh, again, gets that lesson mm -hmm. set on what you can do in a snow squall. Again, ideally, get off the road uh, beforehand, mm -hmm. exit the highway, because once you're on the highway, there's no safe place in a snow squall. So uh, 
when this launches in Europe, are you going to allow the countries that drive on the left side of the road to drive on the right side of the road? I did have a few queries about that. Uh, did you really? Uh, but, uh, oh my gosh, so it's not even... Here in the States, oh, yeah. uh, we, are, we are on the road. Who has access to this? Yeah, this is available for yeah, free download on the MetaQuest store. Okay. Um, and anyone with a MetaQuest uh, headset can download for free. There's also a mm -hmm. web link too. Anyone with a desktop computer can mm -hmm. uh, try out the web version uh, to view it as well. Life-saving information. It's super, I, I think it's incredible. Steven, how are you feeling out there? It's, th this is the moment where it gets, mm -hmm. and I will say, I, I've driven through snow squalls before, and y you that visibility, you can see the white line. If I would have gotten it far enough in the level, this is an arcade game, I, I'm sure I'd do a lot better. Uh, but <laughs> you, you end up losing the pavement, and then you're just driving on, on nothing but just all white grounds. Fascinating. It is. I, earlier when Steven did it too, you could actually see, you got, passed by some really fancy looking sports car. Yeah, that, that was, was you. obviously going too fast. <laughs> that we put that in there too as you, a yeah. peer pressure of, oh, if they're driving yeah. fast, I can too. And then yeah. you end up spinning out or getting into a, a rear end or something. Incredible stuff. I mean, yeah. we're gonna see how long we can get Steven through this drive before you. There's that, there's that car. No, yeah. And oh. then, yeah, you if, you if you turn too fast, I don't know how this was developed, but uh, yeah, it's a function of the yeah. ice. So we oh, make yeah. it slicker as the, yeah. as you saw. Well, that's not fair. Snowier and snowier, and it's easier to spin out and lose your bearings. It's wow. crazy. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us and bringing this in studio with yeah. us. We're really excited to be able to feature it because, again, we do have snow squalls in the forecast for so many of you, especially off of the Great Lakes. Dr. Jace Bernhardt, professor at Hofstra University right over on Long Island. Um, thanks. Well, you're welcome back. We got hurricane season yeah. ahead of us. Um, well, anytime, I guess we want to yeah, put people I said by here anytime. I'm fine with that. It still looks great. It still looks great. Thank you. <laughs> thanks for joining us. Thank you for having yeah. me. Yeah. yeah.